Hello, welcome to seventh grade math. I am Miss Trombley, and this is your flipped classroom experience, first time. So what you need is you need your notes, the 3.1 ratios and rates that you got in class today. You could have your textbook handy, opened up to page 100. You need a pencil, and you might want some sticky notes so that you can jot down any questions that you have. That would be a great idea. So gather those things. You can pause me if you need to. Make sure you're prepared. Today we're going to talk about ratios and rates, and we're actually going to learn how to find them from a verbal situation, like a story problem, everyone's favorite. We're going to learn how to find them from a table, and we're going to learn how to find them from a graph. So first off, we need to know what a ratio and a rate is. Um, another word for a ratio is a fraction, but we call it ratios because we know everyone hates fractions, so a ratio is a fraction in disguise. It's a comparison of two quantities, and you use division for it. So one example says three out of four people donated jeans. So three out of four people is the comparison. We're comparing three and four. So you can write that as a fraction, three over four. You can also write it as three to four, or three colon four. Um, another thing we're going to look at today is called a rate. And a rate is a ratio of two quantities with different units. So a rate is a ratio, except instead of comparing, here we compared three people to four people, they're both people. If you're doing a rate, you're going to be comparing two different units. So if I said we traveled 60 miles in two hours, we're going really slowly. We have miles and we have hours. Those are two different units. So the difference between a rate and a ratio, a rate is a comparison of two different things. There's also something called a unit rate, which you had a little bit of experience with on your starter. Don't let that happen to you. Um, a unit rate is basically something that's out of one. So normally people don't say, I traveled 60 miles per two hours. They would say, I traveled 30 miles per hour. So a unit rate is out of one. That means your denominator is going to be one. All right, get ready for the examples. The first example says, that there are 45 males and 60 females in a subway car and the subway car is traveling or travels 2.5 miles in five minutes. I hope it's a large subway car. It's like 105 people. So hopefully it's big enough. All right, your first task is to find the ratio of males to females. So males, females. Order is really important, and usually it's ladies first, but in this situation it's not. It says males to females, so we need to look at the number of males. The number of males is 45, and the number of females is 60. All we have to do to write that as a ratio is choose one of those three forms and write it as a comparison 45 and 60. So I'm going to choose the fraction one because I know that's what you'll pick because everyone loves fractions. So 45 over 60. Now, just like fractions have to be simplified, ratios also have to be simplified. So when you look at 45 sixtieths, I'm really hoping that the number 15 pops into your head because 15 is the largest number that divides into each. You have learned how to use your calculators to simplify fractions as well, so if this is an issue for it, please grab your calculator and simplify it using that. I'm going to do it the good old-fashioned way and divide each by the GCF. So 15 goes into 45 three times and 15 goes into 64 times. So my simplified ratio is 3 fourths. And again, I could have also said 3 to 4, or I could say 3 colon 4. I don't like saying 3 colon 4 because I think colon is kind of a gross word. But they use it in math class too. All right, for letter B, we are now supposed to find the speed of the subway car. Now we're not actually finding a ratio here. We're finding, well, it's a form of a ratio. We're finding a rate. But there's two different units for this because it says that the subway car travels 2.5 miles in five minutes. So miles per minute means it's a rate. So we're going to do this the same way. Since it's miles per minute, the miles is on the top, the minutes is on the bottom, and it says 2 to 5. Now, if we're looking for speed, you wouldn't say, I'm traveling 2.5 miles per five minutes. We would want the speed per one minute. That's a unit rate. The simplest way to find a unit rate is just to divide the top by the bottom. We want this to be out of 1, and if you take 5 divided by 5, you'd get 1. Whatever you do to the bottom, you'd have to do to the top. So easy shortcut, just take 
2.5 divided by 5. When you do that, you get a result of 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5 miles per minute, which is how you would say that your speed. Another example, there are 12 dogs and 15 cats at the pet store. I hope not all together. That would be a rumble. Find the ratio of cats to dogs. Now, this is important. It says cats to dogs. Up here, they're trying to mess you up because they tell you dogs first and then cats, but here it says cats to dogs. So make sure you have the right numbers where they're supposed to go. There are 15 cats, 12 dogs. Cats get to go first. And again, I'm going to use the fraction form because that's my favorite. When you see 15 12s, again, I'm hoping that 3 pops out to you as a GCF. If it doesn't, you can use your calculator to help you simplify this. To simplify this, I divide each by the GCF. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we would say the ratio is 5 to 4. Other ways to write it, there's the gross way, colon, all set. All right, last one of these verbal situations. You bicycle 30 blocks in 20 minutes. Find your speed in blocks per minute. So this is a rate because we have two units. We have the number of blocks per minute, so it needs to be blocks over minutes because blocks happens first. So it says 30 blocks, I'm going to put 30 with the blocks. 20 minutes, I'm going to put 20 with the minutes. And again, I want this to not be 30 blocks per 20 minutes. I want to know how many blocks we can travel in one minute. So you're finding the unit rate. That means take 30 divided by 20. When you take 30 divided by 20, you get 1.5. So that means 1.5 blocks per minute. And if you haven't caught on yet, that little slash means the word per. I'm far too lazy to have to write the word per, so I like to use the slash. It means the same thing. Next on